Hello, my name is Ian and I am here with Intelli Homes and I wanted to answer a very simple question that I got asked yesterday. I was very shocked when I got asked this question and I realized it is my fault that I didn't take the time to explain something like this. Now what that question was, was what is a smart switch? And I actually wanna drill it back a little bit further and go all the way to what is a smart home? Part of my goal here at Intel Homes is to create a simplified user experience so that the average person can get into smart home and create a convenience of life that most people aren't able to experience because most feel smart homes are for rich people because they need money to be able to purchase them and have them installed or because it's very complicated. And honestly, I found it to be very complicated as well. That's why I wanted to start this and start getting involved and figure out solutions so that everybody can have the enjoyment of a smart home. Now, let's go back to what is a smart home. Now, I looked up the definition and I didn't really like it. So what my thought on what a smart home would be would be any smart device that allows you to control it remotely by a smart home or a smartphone or your computer or even your voice. And then the last layer we could even add that is automatically. That is the big thing about smart homes is that people want things to happen automatically without the user input or, or their own input into it. Now, there's two components to what I would say is uh, that really makes a smart home and it can start off super easily. If you've watched one of my other videos, I said it's super easy. You can start with just a light bulb or a light switch in your phone. That's really all it takes. Now, the two components would be some type of smart device. It doesn't have to be a light. I mean, gosh, it could be even your washer, your dryer, your refrigerator. Um, it could be a light uh, or um, even your thermostats nowadays are smart thermostats and it can start with that. There's all different types of products and we'll talk a little bit more about those in a different time about what types of, the, of those devices they could be. Now, those two components again, are the smart device itself, as well as the platform that you utilize for it. Generally, that's gonna be on your smartphone. Most of us utilize starting it and connecting it through uh, an app on our phone. That would be things like Akara or Fiat, Tuya, uh, Smart Life, things like that. And we'll talk about those later on as well. Now, the next level of smart home capability is going to be adding voice control. Now, those are things like Alexa, or Google Home, or even uh, Apple has the HomePod, which is Siri, technically, that can be added on to there as well. Once you add those layers, it really elevates your game of what is your smart home, because now you're not having to pull out your phone every time you wanna control the lights if you sit down somewhere, or you're not nearby it, or you want it to do something, you just give a voice command. That's how I operate a lot of my smart home right now. My wife really enjoys it because it's easy to just say, hey, do this for me and it does that for you or you can ask for different various requests the biggest thing about smart homes that people really want to get into that is very difficult and i want to work on making this easier for people is through home automations automations are whenever you set up a specific if then clause that's the best way to explain it and actually that's what it is inside of a lot of these apps if this happens then this happens to give you an example, a lot of what I've started setting up is I have a lamp or even my outside porch is my front porch and a couple lights in front of my garage that whenever the sun sets or rises, the something happens with the light. So if the sun sets, then the lights turn on. Now, if it reaches a certain time of night, then those lights dim because I don't like blinding all of my neighbors with really, really bright lights in the middle of the night or if the sun rises, then the lights turn off. That is the very simplicity of home automations for you. Now, the next level you can start adding, which is what I'm working on, is by adding presence tracking or motion tracking. Some people freak out a little bit about this one, but what this is for you is you can get sensors, little tiny sensors that stick on your wall. A lot of times people have them for security, though you need special ones that are able to detect and then trigger automations what those do for you is whenever you walk into a room maybe it will turn on the light now if it no longer uh, detects presence there 
then it will turn the lights off. There's a difference between motion and presence. Motion is movement. If it sees my hand going up and down like this, it's going to trigger. But if my hand stops and it doesn't see motion, though it knows my hand is still there, it's gonna keep the light on for me because it knows I'm there. That is the difference between motion and presence. So what we look at a lot is presence detectors. We want detectors that see that we're there and then keep the lights on or turn the lights off in that case there. Those are the very simplistic level of what a smart home is. Let's take a moment and recap. A smart home is whenever you have a smart style device that can be controlled remotely or through a computer or by your voice or lastly through some type of automation. You need two components to start. You need the device and some type of platform, generally your smartphone that has an app on it that allows you to utilize it. You can then add voice control and then from there we can add automations. Now the last thing I do want to mention real quick is that you can also add a other third party programs. There's one out there that I currently utilize, something called Home Assistant. And that takes all the devices and puts them in one place and allows me to control them. Now it's very difficult to use and it is a very high level of smart home automation, which is something I'm working on simplifying for us. I want something similar, but not the exact same so that anybody out there can use it for us. Now, I really appreciate you taking a, my, a moment to come in here and listen to what I have to say about what is a smart home. And I apologize for not giving enough explanation in the beginning. I, again, I wanna create a simple user-friendly experience with IntelliHomes here. Now, if you really enjoy this and you appreciate me uh, doing these types of explanations for you, I appreciate a comment, like this, share it with your friends so that they can start understanding that smart homes are for everybody and we can work on upgrading your home into an IntelliHome as well. Thank you so much for joining me. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.